I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man sucks. Everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Holes Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in the break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. Edward. What's up, buddy? Uh, we have a very special guest. Um, I've known this guy for quite a while. Yeah. Probably, I feel like he's been I, I, like a little brother S. I think, how I met him, and we'll get into that. But let's just go over some of his credits. Uh, he's been featured in the New Faces for Just for Laughs, which is a very prominent, prominent thing for young comedians to get. Uh, he made his comedy TV debut on the Jim and Fa- Jimmy Fallon show, The Tonight Show, for those of you at home that don't know shit. Uh, also, he was part of the NBC Stand Up for Diversity, one of the funniest guys in the game. He was nominated for a WGA award. Give it up for the one and only Andre D. Thompson. Oh, shit. Yeah. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We're Got sipping little... espressos with Eddie McGee. <laughs> no, we live out here. My dude. fingers don't even fit in the little hole. <laughs> Italians aren't big guys. <laughs> Angry guys, but not a big guy. Dude, I, uh, I slammed my espresso. I, I got a little buzz going right now. <laughs> he drank that shit like Don Fanucci. <laughs> it took it like a shot for Taking real. it with a... <laughs> and it's hot. Fucking, oh, dude, I don't know what it might be. It. Uh, <laughs> um, mm. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's jump into this because you said something off air that I, I oh, want to yeah, talk yeah. about. You were a cross-country truck yeah i did that i was the trucking assistant so i never had to drive the 18s i would just do the uh those like u-haul trucks okay you know the like this like i guess so you could like the the one that has the trailer in the back that's connected to it with the single cab oh yeah 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 yeah. we would drive i'll be in the fucking cot or some shit in the truck and we're driving through whatever and then there's a stop you would sleep in the truck yeah with the other dude yeah so So, there's like the beds so what is the difference between an 18 wheeler and what you're driving though the 18 wheeler is a is detachable so like the 18 wheeler the tractor it could get loaded unloaded that you just have like that cat they call it the cab yeah right? but that's the full size so like those are the ones you see where the guys is backing in and they connect the yeah, trailer right. to the thing that's a whole nother story but you're driving more the like one a- that comes to the one that you see in the city just shipping shit around yeah yeah ah. because they yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. it has that cat like that full Three seater, oh, right, 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 right. There's no yeah. space in the back to in the 18 wheeler tractor. Oh, yeah, you could. There's a fucking like a house. Yeah, there's like a little fridge. Uh huh. There's two of these yeah. stacked up. So I was on the top bunk. <laughs> you know what I mean? The <laughs> top bunk. You young? Ain't nobody. You climbing? You okay, young no, motherfucker? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm right, the driver. You, okay, let's let's <laughs> rewind because this the fact we just started where how did you get here? Kind of like how did I get here? What happened to you? When you were coming up to getting jobs, because you're, for those of you that don't know, Andre's Jamaican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And comes from a family from Jamaica. Yep. He's your first born American. The first and only. Uh, so, you know, you, I don't know if you remember Living Color, Ed, but they used to have that yeah. great sketch. I Mad got five jobs. jobs. That's a lot of jobs. <laughs> oh, totally, yeah. When you said, how did you get here? My answer was going to be, I'm Jamaican. That's the <laughs> it. <laughs> That's the answer, bro. Like, that's how I got to, yo, you home? You got a job now. <laughs> I think this is why I love Andre, because I, like, Andre doesn't look like he would sleep in the back of a truck. <laughs> no. And I don't look like I would do something like that. But we, like, you look like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, we're all this, but that's what's funny I'm is, sl- like, slept in a couple of all these <laughs> pictures look different, but we all same the, shit. Yeah. All yeah, yeah, yeah. the same. It's the same so shit. when you, but wait a second. So how old were you when you got your first job? Now, you, oh, yeah, that's start working, I, like, you right talking away. talking about my first job on paper? Just, like, first paid. time you were getting This guy paid. worked in a Chinese restaurant as a dishwasher at 12. So go in. This oh, guy's a yeah. one He's, he's. He's you the infiltrated, bro. Yeah. Minority you ever met. <laughs> yeah, you infiltrated. Oh, dude. Because Chinese people don't hire nobody no. not Chinese to be in a Chinese restaurant. Nope. He nope. was the boy. <laughs> Literally, they called him they the just boy. Call me boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got the secrets. <laughs> Oh, this guy was shit. his high school janitor of his own high school. We have the. It's oh, like having yeah. the yeah. credibility on this show. Oh hell yeah! He's the credibility. So how did you? What's your first job? First job of like I actually applied and got hired. No 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 no, just that. money. Just money. When you had to show up somewhere on time and do the job, no matter on boats oh, it or was, not. Oh, it was the truck. <laughs> oh shit! Who was the driver? A family member? Yeah yeah uh, yeah, okay. yeah yeah okay. yeah. yeah. Okay. There'll be some white dude named Skeeter and you. <laughs> just me and Skeeter. Just driving through the interstates. <laughs> 
argue. It's like a sitcom. You're arguing oh, over the music. <laughs> I'm tired of all this 80s rock, Skeet. <laughs> what is outlaw country, I'm fucking skeet? over it. Leonard Skinner with this dick. You I'm tired no of trick, this. trick, daddy? <laughs> so you, do you uh, have to, what is your job in the truck? Like oh, you yeah. So just loading and unloading? Yeah, it was, so the same thing we were talking about before, like being just big or bigger. Yeah. Like I was always just a big kid so mm -hmm. they're like you know you big you're Go strong some stuff yeah, right. you're gonna move some shit oh, yeah man. right i know you 12 but you built like you older so yep. you moving stuff yeah right and that was the deal you know what's wild how old were you when you're on that truck uh first time i was probably like 13 yeah. so during the summer you're doing That's it great. yeah i went they down to georgia to so how far were the, were the drives um, as a 13 year old kid like how far you go it was georgia up to new york <laughs> then there That's was like a 15 hour ride right dude. with stops yeah so there's Georgia to New York, I remember. Then there was a New York with like a Boston, Connecticut, Massachusetts type like of run. Like a tri-state run, yeah. Yeah, like going up a couple like hours. like all the gigs we do. <laughs> <laughs> Legit. We do some Legit. road shit where you're like, and where the, are we today? <laughs> the longest one was from New York to Cali and back. Damn. Oh, that that's, one, yeah. Because that's you're one not only going all the way across, you're going diagonal. All the way, and it stops across because, you know, like, you know, you go from New York and then you got to stop in Pittsburgh and do a job. Right. Then you get back in the truck, you keep driving and you stop in fucking Idaho and do a job. Then you stop in New Mexico, Arizona. It's well, just like. You got to make it worth your while, right? Yeah. So you got to so do jobs along, along the, the yeah, fucking yeah. way. Because yeah. Yeah. the thing is, you pick the stuff up. You and pick up and drop, drop it off, off, and then hopefully you pick up when you drop you, off. The right? whole time, okay. It's pick up, drop off, pick up, pick you, up, drop off, pick you, up. I don't think until the pandemic, I realized it's like that. You know, we we actually plugged this once before that Jimmy Hoffa shit. If you got it, if you're eating it, it came off a truck. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, yeah. the whole. I mean, that's like. So yeah. I just read this thing about Eisenhower, where he's the one that invested in '56 in an interstate system to support. Uh, the trucking industry. It was mm -hmm. a four hundred seventy-five billion dollar endeavor to create the interstate system, yeah. uh, and that's kind of wild to think that there's this whole underbelly uh, of a life to be had when you work on a truck. But that's that's what I'm realizing as I like just learn whatever the fuck, get a little bit smarter. There's there's like a full a uh, lifestyle that's attached to anything if you do it for real. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. When it's, it's a job, all, yeah, it's a job. Yeah. Like when you but you got to do it for if you kind of in it. Right. No, no, not, you got to be yeah. yeah you yeah. know it's like having like when you the look at second, guitar players with calluses or they they it's cement a their fingernails cuz you're like no no this is what I this is this what I do. do. Yeah. 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 yeah right, it's yeah, a yeah, yeah. so er, I'm noticing like everything has like a full on lifestyle of yeah, we really do this shit. Yeah. Isn't what was that, what was your so now your pick? uncle? Sorry, hold on. So now your uncle was he was he fully in it? Fully in it. Fully in it. Trucker. Is he still a trucker? Still a trucker. And then now, as he is he have like the uh, the bigger cabs or is he still no doing, bigger cabs? He's yeah, doing yeah, 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 yeah. So shit full upgraded yeah. because that's more a, that's a whole lifestyle too. Because I knew this dude who uh, he went to a good friend of mine grew up with him and he went to Colorado and he worked at a restaurant yeah. and he took his trip out his way to get to Colorado was riding with one of the truckers oh, hell yeah. that dropped off. The food at the restaurant. He like became buddies with him. The guy took him out to Colorado. I get a call from Colorado. He blew all his money on hookers and hash. <laughs> Just cold hookers. Is that and a new Dr. Seuss book? Hookers and hash. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how to Bro. help you, dude. <laughs> He <laughs> makes a lot of bad decisions. Oh, a lot. That of ain't bad the first decisions. one. Lot yeah. lizards come cheap too. So if he blew all his money on some lot lizard pussy, that is he's doing bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because well, here's how what happened was he got robbed. He got she she cleaned him out. The trucker? Yeah. The no the the, uh, the, oh, the hooker. Oh, yeah. While she was giving a blow up, she cleaned him out. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah, That's his seriously. fault. Hey man. Yeah. That's because a, the fucking the, I respect this that. is the thing. <laughs> I respect that angle. The name of the people you get in with are called lot lizards. <laughs> That's not it. sexy to start with. It's already dangerous. In the name, they're already telling you it's what to It's a reptile. <laughs> what the fuck you doing with a lot lizard? 
Nah, bro. What, what kind of shit? I know I don't want you to break any confidence with your uncle because family's family, but what kind of stuff, when you say like the lifestyle, you're in it, what kind of things do you notice about him Oh, um, and the job? Like how did he immerse himself in the gig? Well, it's literally, for, for what I noticed with him, he's not home because he you got a truck. And it's hard to be home. Yeah. you. It's so, like us. Like we're on the road a lot. On it, the road. When, like you ever been on the road magnified. for 10 days yeah. and then you come home and you're yeah. like, I don't know how to be home. Tr truck is magnified. Because you're gone for like a month, right? Yeah. And it's these long ass fucking yeah. trips. And you're alone bro. and isolated and your you, head off. I'm, you know, sometimes we just call him up and he's like, I'm in name the fucking place. Dakota, whatever sure. the shit. Yeah. And it's just he's some, there's no what like I saw I, the truck and shit is how I really saw oh the real America yeah yeah well all of this shit with the damn coverage of the cell phone maps fucking lies yeah, there's two yeah, places yeah. with coverage everywhere else ain't no fucking coverage this the amount of times your phone don't got no service because you just on Earth there's no it's not like you going somewhere yeah, yeah. Kansas nothing. There's one or two little hot spots. There's mad, just empty roads. So you were just... 13 with a cell phone, and that's that was your takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> bro, hey man, this... I can't get all of no one. Well, remember, I'm 13. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not hunting lot you're, lizards. You're young, how, you're young too. How old are you now? I mean, 30. Th okay, so yeah, you yeah. actually were uh, around when cell phones were yeah, legit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't see. I'm 42. That, yeah, so, me so at it's 13, like, like uh, you, you know. still didn't give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. For yeah. me, it was like oh, I'm bored now. Yeah, yeah, that's huge. That's huge, right? Isn't it crazy too that so much of the country has shitty internet service? Like so, it's under I mean, much. it's a lot. Yeah, it's a like full on places. There is no connection to nothing. There is a real world out there, and when you're going to those kind of places, because I, I we I vaguely I I vaguely align with your uncle in that sense, where I'm like, this exists. Yeah, and I then, didn't know that this was a thing out in the real I world. What I noticed with the job, certain jobs have like archetypes that kind of follow them. Yeah, a lot of the truck and shit is usually a people who they got a bit of a record somewhere. That's uh, what I was gonna say. If yeah, I were to right. ever go to prison, yeah, or lose my family or something awful where I messed yeah. up huge, I would be a, a truck. I know, like that's why I've, I you meet characters. Oh. Like I remember, it's bro, like being a comic. There's a lot of comics with records because it's a job. Yeah, you could do. it's a loot. You could just get in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, And if yeah. you could do the job, you could yeah, get yeah, in. You can make whatever. a lot of it. You can make a lot of money stuff, as a trucker too. Huh? That's the thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. And there's like tip money and like side shit. Oh, and you, all get that. To, you can get tip money. Now you got a truck, a right? Yeah. Some guys like I need to move some of these pool supplies that I stole. Who yeah. am I gonna call? Oh, my buddy yeah, Josh yeah. runs. And that's if you want to, you know, continue. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. That's when you know you're taking that chance. Because yep. the reason you are a trucker is because you have a fucking record. Yeah. Right? And so you, now you got to be like, I. Right. And now you know how to not get caught. Yeah, hopefully. you could. You <laughs> taking another penitentiary chance yeah, to yeah, do this yeah, shit yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, so like, yeah. I remember being on the truck is where I met. It felt like you were meeting Grand Theft Auto characters. Like what? Give me an example. You, the dude with the tattoos from head to f like oh, covering dude. everything, dude. Covered, like I mean, across the forehead. It's wild. It's <laughs> wild. And then and you come to are, him. Like, Post Malone dudes are getting that shit, but 15 years ago, oh, yeah. If you that, had a tattoo on your face, you have a story. Because you couldn't get a real job then with a tattoo. You, now, and usually they were like those, uh, like pen tattoos too, right? Like they weren't like real, oh, like, like well done. Yeah, they yeah, were like yeah, prison yeah. tattoos. Yeah, you, you had to survive some shit to get that tattoo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So like meeting those people and you know the most thugged out of every kind too yeah. and that's the shit that you don't notice they have like the idea of who's the the thugs in america <laughs> it's not it's these dudes it's yeah. every yeah. Yeah, yeah you got i've seen gangsters that you know the white guys they have the one impression of the white guy no you haven't seen all of them yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have not seen all of them the yeah. fucking ones that wear the tap out shirts you, know what? you ain't seen or the one that got camouflage everything stop the thinking this, yeah, white guy, you're yeah. just talking about the one white guy on TBS that ain't all no, of them no. bro there's some serious hit they hitters. different oh, yeah. yeah tattooed all across with his tattoos crawling up the back of the head yeah and he's like, we want to put the couch. The, uh, the fuck? <laughs> Don't come in my house. You got a house? <laughs> you can leave it in the hallway. Please, I'll pick it up. <laughs> you go. <laughs> uh, it's different. You, I, like, I've met characters doing that shit. You know, in those kind of jobs, too, much like ours, there's an ethic. Oh, yeah, yeah, Even yeah, though yeah, everyone's yeah. a dirty asshole, there's, like, an ethic, though. Oh, like, yeah. If you're in their mix, there's an ethic. And yeah. I always, because I could get an ethic. It's when 
like in the boardroom corporate bullshit and big business shit we're yeah. like so everyone's lying to my face yeah, yeah, you don't yeah, know yeah. where they stand with those kind of dudes. You just oh, you, know, where you know where you stand. stand. It's exactly. because you know you they still have yeah. the same the the context of the thing also like will denote what's going to happen. Corporate mm-hmm. setting, we have a lot of stuff blocking uh natural ground level human interaction. Yeah, right. If I fuck you over in a corporate setting, you there's a lot of things in your way to fucking just yak me. Yeah. This mad yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. stopping yeah. you. Yeah, you're so insulated. From you're right. yeah. <clears throat> what real things could just be like. Mm-hmm. But if you just on a loose truck in the middle of Nevada, yeah. ain't no fucking it's body around. Law, right? Both yeah. y'all cell phones don't work. Yeah. Say something smart to his ass yeah, and see what yeah, happens yeah, yeah. to him. No one's yeah. filming this. Nobody's, you can't film nothing. Yeah. Everybody phone dead. <laughs> I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> Then I there's mean, nothing you could do to stop it. What shit did your uncle keep in the truck if stuff got sideways? Did he? Oh, there was gun like or no, no. I never seen no gun. I've seen like I bats. I've seen bats, like right? you know, there's a knife on the truck. Because there's, that's the thing. If there's you, shit out there, yo. But absolutely. you gotta own the truck. Did he to make. give you like a little like? Okay, this is here. This is here. If you needed to. Nah, I think it's kind. Of, you you know you kind of like know. a field trip for you. You kind of know. He probably knew too. I got the kid in the truck. I'm gonna. I got the kid in the truck, and it's just like. We're not you, taking any crazy jobs. You're not, yeah, ta- yeah, you're not yeah. wilding. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know my si- if if something happened to this one, because like I said, like I'm the only, <laughs> only one born oh, here. So yeah. you're like I'm the, the gift. I'm the last one. You fuck me up. My yeah. mama gonna be very mad. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be very upset. <laughs> So. I love Jamaican moms too. <laughs> I know a lot of Jamaican moms because everywhere I work, there's always like the Jamaican lady at the job that I have to hang out with, and we chat Bruh. a bunch. They're they're real about that. Too. Listen, they're rough too. Nobody's playing. Yeah. Uh, you Jama- ahead, Jamaicans fuck don't play. <laughs> now let me ask you this though: when you are working, just because I know a little bit about a little bit, mm-hmm. when you're driving a truck for a company. I've heard of dudes and people have seen this in TV. It's real. Yeah. Where when they get pulled, like when they get stuck, like when someone wants to rob the truck, I've I've heard the real stories about truck drivers going, "You got to hit me or something," because they're gonna think I'm in. Oh, on this. I've heard that. You know, yeah, did yeah, your yeah, uncle yeah. ever have any issues like that? No, you, not that when I you know. were rolling with them. Nothing. No, no, no one no. ever tried nothing, to steal the the product. I've never seen shit when I was on a truck. That's f- all crazy. I've seen is like I've met the people who. They will let you know it's known like yeah i got out of jail after mm-hmm. such and such i did 20 years here you meet another truck assistant person he did 15. you know like that you see that shit. yeah but i never seen like yo statched a <laughs> you know nothing like took right. place yeah, yeah but yeah. it was known that yeah if there's five people on the job four got felonies yeah right you know no, what i mean real. it's just like that yeah, like we works. and everybody is aware of it but I would think too, like heisting a truck, you need more than just like a couple of speed freaks that are gonna heist a truck. It's because three there's guys the, with guns. Because there's, work. but there's like a trucker community. Like they all got the that CB the radio. CB, and all right. That so they're gonna get a hold of everybody. Everybody's so gonna kind of yeah, they know. So what's the move? Like I remember Sopranos had a, a one that was pretty accurate from what I asked a couple guys about. Where this is before the real cell phone and yeah. all that stuff, where they would figure out the route, they would do like my boys on the ground or we need some serious help they wave the guy down and then that's when they do it like the surprise attack yeah but you're saying that but what i'm saying is like the organized i think the element of the fear afterwards of like an organized crime kind of like italian style yep. job yeah. w- will that will uh stave off any kind of like retribution yo we got to find these guys or couple of speed freaks that just yeah. fucking heist a truck oh, like, yeah, yeah, oh we'll yeah. get these fucking idiots yeah yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. We'll, we'll, just, we'll, we'll get them two miles before sure. they won't make they're it not two organized miles. Yeah. <laughs> they i don't gotta get organized easy because like those those like even those truck resting areas it's not it's not I, I don't know if it was always like this but it's not like one or two trucks oh it's like it's 20 20 trucks out there or yeah more right and they, it's a lot. We saw a bunch of the. We, I mean, we drove through a bunch of towns recently where like we go uh, to places. Pennsylvania. Yeah, we're just a trucks. Lot, bro. And dudes are. It was two in the morning, so they're all asleep in the car. Yeah, and then also remember this. Like I said, a lot of them are not people who are just like, oh, I just want to take care of my job. These right. people they're ready will to rock. fuck yeah. you up. Yeah, they're yeah. ready to rock. You better. He come already in. robbed somebody. You, come yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you robbing me? I just robbed somebody. <laughs> Come, come try. <laughs> like, exactly. It's not. It's not that type of space. Yeah. You know, uh, so yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, let's. We're gonna come back to jobs, but I wanted to quickly talk about what's going on with you now because you've done some cool shit. Uh, when I met Andre, he was 
almost like you were just, I think, starting when you got with the yeah, Dante's yeah, yeah, yeah. podcast, that right? Was, now yeah, it's called Man like, School. Back then it was Beige Phillip. Yeah, that's probably like three years in. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were third mic on that, and yeah. really fun, nice the guy. The worst intern ever is that they yeah, used to yeah, say. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they used yeah, to call you the worst intern Because that's, like, that's how I, like, finagled. Like, I remember Mara, I asked Mara, can I intern for the show or whatever? And then yeah. they're like, yeah, you could be the intern. And then I didn't do intern stuff. <laughs> I just, just showed up? I, I show up. I be late sometime. I don't, I don't get nobody no water y'all thirsty <laughs> y'all gonna stay that way <laughs> like i was not a good intern uh, that was I, it. I remember meeting you and i was like oh man this guy's really fun and we'd see each other out like what a nice guy and then all of a sudden like you're getting shit going yeah, yeah. and then uh i'm randomly in new york comedy club one night and everyone starts pulling in uh it was probably like the later half of the 10 o'clock show yeah. and i'm like what's everybody doing you're like oh andre's on the tonight show and i got to sit there and watch your set Shit. and you drop don't you drop the f-bomb or something yeah. something <laughs> <laughs> damn bro's first national spot and he's doing <laughs> f-bombs so bro I, we I, were, tell you? All, I was like because i'm an old dude from the old school of comedy even though i'm, so, I'm only 42 it's like I came up before everything changed. I had comedy. a heart attack. And I was like, whoa, Dude, he just said that. I have to say, what was most impressive about that is the ha how well you handled that, dude. Like, oh, it, like, man. When it, like when you watch it, you don't even you don't even see like that's what saved it for me. You don't I think, even him. see like, <laughs> the, the beat. You know what I mean? It's just just rolls. He's like, I did it. Fuck it. Let's so go. So when you ran that, because how many times you run your your Tonight Show set before you get to oh, do it? They you must have ran it like five hundred times, right? In clubs, lot, everywhere, open everywhere. mics, all that. Did you Trans f bomb it? Did you, that. did you f bomb no. it during? You just did it in the. Perfect. Getting the job done. No problems. <laughs> I don't give any trouble. Team player. Just <laughs> no, not an issue. No trouble. And then here comes the time. And I think what happened is just like, in general, I, once I like nervous me, I'm super like, I'm overthinking, I'm cognizant. I can yeah, see yeah. each word before I say it. So yada, even though you yada. did it a bunch, you're you're definitely nervous. Fucking okay. shook to the bone. What's, what's yeah. going on in your head before they call you out? Bro, when you walk into it's the studio, not real. Like I, I'm meeting the roots. Who are you with when you walk in? You bring My your mom? My mom. You know, Nico there, Alex back, like, yeah. you know, homies. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. so, like, I'm there with them. This is comfort. Like, y'all supposed to be the comfort. Yeah. Because y'all the only people familiar. Sure. But then Jennifer Lopez walked past. I'm like, this, oh. this, it's, you know what I mean? Like, wow. and mind you, it's this is the weird shit about the, I guess, what it is. That same day, I'm coming from Southside. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm yeah, coming yeah, yeah, yeah. from. Oh. <clears throat> Uh huh. I'm not in no penthouse. Yeah. I'm yeah. coming from the hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Become yeah. queen. That yeah. day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to right. the thing. That's my favorite. And right? I'm going uh -huh. right the fuck back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the thing too. Is like you're getting in the subway, <laughs> or maybe you got a cab that day. You, yeah, you they, they took care of that. They took care of the ride. They took care of the ride. <laughs> Thank God they took care of the ride. I was going for that fucking escalator <laughs> coming to my house. <laughs> I'm brand spanking you. Yeah. <laughs> so you're back there. You're waiting to go on. And they, I, I was there for a buddy of mine's Letterman, and I don't know if it's similar, but mm -hmm. they do a lot of handling, mm -hmm. the producers do up front. A lot of like, not like you're famous, but they want to like, okay, hey, you're right in here, you're okay. They want to make sure you're not going to, the newer yeah. guy, the comic, they kind of treat the comic kind of like an asshole. I they, mean, they were, no, nah, it was super cool. They had my own dressing room, my name on it and everything, then... Michael Cox comes over. He talks to me, and then they eat. Roots member comes in. Oh, wow. I meet. I meet the. I meet uh, Black Thought. I love then Black Thought. I got Black Thought's one of the greatest MCs it's, of all. It's ridiculous. Dang, I was already bro. just like, this is so insane. Martin Luther. Right, Martin man. Luther is a. That dude is a this badass is insane. too. Yeah. Jimmy comes in. He talk like so. It's just like so. They oh, really set shit. it up nice for people. Then Chill. that's so great. Chill, and they give. Me, they tell me what I gotta do. Let me get dressed. They show me the transcript or what I got. Everything is cool. Done. Go on. Okay, and, where, where are you, when you're about to go on, what do they say? What do you? Where do they put you? Like, it's it's you right. You it's, gotta take a dump. Like what's going on? Oh, oh adrenaline. Oh, no, all the yeah, yeah, yeah all yeah, of yeah, it, yeah, all of it. it. No part of me is cool, smooth, yeah. ready to go. I'm full on nerves. Yeah, a bag of nerves. How'd you pick your outfit? I was about to ask that because I love <laughs> oh. the outfit, dude. Sorry, I'm just like, hat, I'm like Yankees hat, <laughs> jump in, whatever, man. I'm <laughs> I loved it, dude. It was so well, good. yeah, yeah. How'd I pick my great. outfit? Well, I was like, what can I afford? <laughs> that's that, see, that's what I'm. That's about that's the great. details. That's yeah. what the beauty is. Like you and, and like, you. I'm not gonna try to front. 
and go get a thousand dollar suit and give it suit. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. I, th- I'm gonna yeah. go. What I got. What but they got to clear go what you're gonna wear. Though. Yeah, okay. which was funny because the even wearing the Yankees hat, they had to make a whole bunch of phone calls. Oh, and, did they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you don't like know. IP, right? Cause yeah. the IP yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know this though, Eddie. The the law part of all all the TV stuff because you've worked in you know they so had many to different use, parts of the history. Uh, they used footage of Michael Che to use to be like. See, it, we, it, this is cool because Michael Che had like interviews where he had his hat on still. Oh, oh, oh. so they show like press yeah, like lawyer shit. Yeah, yeah, so they was like, have to show yeah. press. Yeah, yeah, they mm-hmm. show press. So they were yeah, like, yeah. all right, Che used it. He could use it. Da, da, da. And then that's how they allowed it. How long was that back and forth on the Yankees? It, it was a like couple days, like two three how days. How were they doing talking at the time? about it? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, 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 the Yankees like losing that week. You're like, you know what? Fuck this fuck hat. This hat. <laughs> they don't, nobody gives hey, a shit. You know what? I'll let him burn his hat on air. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him toss it. <laughs> they, they let me slide. They let me. Uh, and boy, that's I, a that's a thing that struck me because you know this is all stemming off the f bomb. It was loose because when you think of you know because I've prepped for you know. Oh, it's an audition for a late night set. It's they're so rigid, and I'm you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is rigid, but your shit was like a it looked and, fun. But this is the thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, so I did the stand up for diversity thing, and that's how I met Michael, and then he seen me from that. And I this is like it's funny you brought that up because during that he's like, bro, you're just you're just so raw. We're trying to like shape what you do, but you just yeah. when you have fun, and that's what caused the curse. Cause I yeah. I started and then I heard like a crack, you got like a good pop. A, a good pop, and, and then I was like, oh shit, I'm not bombing. I'm on. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not bombing. It's yeah, happening. now you're in. Yeah. You're in. Another one. Oh, yeah. big pop again. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I start having fun. <laughs> fucking fuck, fuck. <laughs> we okay. So you like Ed was saying, you roll right into the next joke like nothing ever happened. But Internally, like, on God, I just ruined my career. I'm like, I'm gonna have to apply to Amazon. <laughs> Get back, call up. your uncle. <laughs> I got it's over. I fucked it up. Oh, yeah, hey, right uh, now. Uncle Petey, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, it's finished. Yep. I'm finito. I'm ready to. So, I finished the set. I see the light and everything. I finished the set. And once I see the light, I start turning to get the fuck off the stage. Because I'm like, he's not gonna talk to me. Jimmy's not I gonna talk to me. This, I just right. fucking ate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm like, I'm get the fuck off, and Jimmy grabs me, and I'm like, I'm sorry. He's like, eh, relax, relax. <laughs> He's just like, relax, you're good. And then bring me to the chair, we talk, whatever. Go back the second, all of it's cut, and go to commercial. He's like, you crushed, relax. No one cares about the curse. Oh, cool. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, sorry about a thousand miles an hour. And I was like, bro, who gives a fuck about this curse? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm thinking it's over there. Well, they made you. Give a fuck about that, that curse. Yeah. Curse. But that's but, the thing, though. The Jimmy, those guys, they don't care. They about don't it. care. There's some they guy got a producer in the who's, got, who's yeah. got a fucking, you know, he's been, you know, that he cares about. Yeah, it. yeah. that's all. That's because it's, it's his guys. job to care about fuck it. Those guys, yeah. But they, they but yeah. even to like, I was like, they really they show love because they aired it two or three more times, and that's not like a requirement. Oh, nice! Yeah, you know, a couple reruns. Yeah, on. they yeah, they re, they reran the shit. That's great. I'm cussing. They left it. Boop, so and they J-Lo just kept was one playing. of the guests on with you. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think that always helped. Lil Rel Harry. Oh, yeah. So nice. they played it. Wait, who? Lil Rel Harry. Oh, okay. So they played it a bunch and everything, oh, and it was yeah, like, when you're all right. J-Lo, when you're on J Lo, yeah. dude, it was J-Lo's yeah. Bill, that's it was cool. They wouldn't have put you on if they didn't think you could handle that kind of guest. Yeah, they it wasn't like some some one off. So how did the crowd react? Because I don't remember. Did the crowd? Did you get a gas? When I say they roll with it, I think I was the only one. Me and my managers was like. The only people going, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, yeah Everybody yeah. else was like, we didn't, I don't know if they didn't hear it or they yeah. just didn't care or if like, they, somebody told me like a laugh, like something I said right before. So people who were laughing as I oh, cursed. So it wasn't nice. a clean. It wasn't a clean. It wasn't a clear yeah. bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. announced. So it's just. You got lucky a little just, bit. Yeah, nice. I got lucky. It just shaped itself to get lucky. You've been like, Boom! The <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I lean we in. See the <laughs> All the F's. It. Look at this. The kid. F's loading up. <laughs> it's loading up. <laughs> Just the wheel. Oh, it's on for freeze. fuck's sake, bro! So after the set, 
everything goes well. The sit down with him goes well. Yeah, everybody. You get right. out of there. Every, everything's cool. I see you when it comes out. We're all watching it together. And now it all makes sense why you were so chill about you saying that. Fuck. Yeah. Because when I looked at him after he did it, we were all laughing at it. And he was just really like, oh, yeah, you know what happens. He was playing it real Mike cool. Mike was cool about it. Yeah, but I love that I you were. After I finished, they let... Uh, Quest sent his drumsticks in. I signed Quest drumstick. Oh, it was right like on. everybody was oh, like, "Bro, dude. we don't give a fuck. You crush, you good." Nice, That's right? And I'm just like, I I gotta work somewhere else now. I'm <laughs> really thinking it's done. No, dude, I, That's you're. Hey, and it's I funny, like Mike. Me. So t- some like I think like a year or two years passed. I end up getting JFL. So I do the JFL, and they had the live feed for it. So I'm backstage and shit getting ready, and I get a text message from the booker of the Tonight Show, Michael. Mike texts me. He goes, "Hey, I'm watching. You can curse today. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine to curse today. Let it rip." And that's it's just great. like that's like the constant <laughs> two, joke. Two now. years later, two still, years still, later, yeah, it's, great. it's fine to curse now. <laughs> and that's it. So it was just it was, uh, it was wild, man. That's great, bro. Well, Nervous. <laughs> you're on strike now. Yeah. You write for a, a show. Yeah. And that yeah. show, you're going to tell us about. I know the show, but I want you to talk about it. Yeah. Um, I know, was it last year you guys got nominated for that Writer's yeah. Guild Award? Yeah. It's, it's the Charlemagne show? Yeah. Okay. Hell of a week. Got Hell of a week. Hell of a week. The Hell first week. season was uh, God's Honest Truth. And then came back, they gave like a whole new new EP, new studio. Just revamped the yeah, whole Yeah, revamped and then. Because you guys were doing so well, they put they, money yeah, into yeah. it or did they want to just change things up? Yeah, they put money because like they the just second. They just more money yeah, they like, okay, they, the product got, was doing well. Yeah, so it changed, they ordered more seasons and changed the shit around. How does that, okay, when you get the Tonight Show, do you think you're gonna be, you know, like, oh shit. I know it's not the 80s where you do Carson and you're famous right away, but like, yeah. do you think opportunity needs to be opening up for me because look you're a good looking black dude we're in an era where they want that mm-hmm. bad like that's a thing like man it's like being I'm trying to figure out the equivalent of that era where people could say like is like paul newman and robert Redford. Mm. Oh, like yeah, yeah. you can be that now yeah, as yeah. a person of color if they could figure out how to how do, it, do it right? Yeah. Yeah, right when you see like shit I just got a huge break as a really young man. Yeah. That's rarity. And it's an era where it was like Pete Davidson, Michael Che are all on SNL, yeah. an NBC show. And then you do this thing kind of within that same vicinity and time. It's like all the guy code guys are doing their thing. And then you're kind of on the back end. And now you're thinking, what am I going to get next? And then how does it happen? The next thing that happened, uh, I got a couple shows. Like you got to feel it a little bit mm-hmm. because I think mm-hmm. it was February. And then... So February the Tonight 7th. Show's February. Yeah. And what year is it again? 2020. 2020. It was 2020? 2020. Yeah. So February. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Amazing how long that, that feels it like. It literally, everything that's started wild. opening up again for the first time, right? When so, you got it. Nah, that's when the oh, shit. Oh, right before it, the next month it hit. That's yeah. So February that's 7th. Yeah. And then February was like, whoo, this is fun. Yeah, Wee. right. <laughs> that's right. In March, the whole world shut down. And March, done. And then the thing right before I did, I think right before I did uh, Fallon, I got to do, I got like the the stand up diversity thing. Yeah, yeah. Once you get selected, they like you win a couple things. So they took me to Denver. I did something over there, and so I got like this little run of, oh, this is what it feel like to do a bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, right. And then right. Earth just stopped spinning for a little bit. Did you yeah. freak out a little bit or not? No, because this, I think this what happened where I had this in my mind of like, all right, I tried. I did. I did my part. Yes. Right. I didn't. I never fucked around. Sure. I didn't try to shortcut nothing. Mm-hmm. Like I did the full. You know the backpack rapper. Yeah. I was a back backpack comic. Like yeah, man. I'm on the train writing jokes. I wake up writing jokes. Yeah. I don't go to no parties. I don't hang out. I'm a nerd, and that's what I do. Yeah. And that's it. Like that's. I was f- like, bro. Dude was working, man. I love five, it. six working. shows that a night. Too, a mics, person, I, like nonstop. Yeah. That's yeah, all great. the fuck I did. Yeah, that's great, bro. So I got to do the thing, and then I felt like, all right, I got to do it the regular way. Yeah. You know, they sent the car. Then I got to the studio. I don't gotta wear no mask. I don't gotta be virtual. So I was like. I As loved that. I got in right before the door closed. I was like, yeah. all right, yo, I, how can I be mad? I got to do the thing I've been dreaming about yeah. doing, and I got to do it the regular, oh, plain yeah. way. I did my part. Yeah. So if 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 it comes to now that some fucking bat calls Earth to stop 
having fun. So be it. That's not my fault. I did nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, yeah, I'll go work at Amazon. Whatever. Because timing is um everything in our business. Well, that's the thing. Like, if you had gotten pushed, like they were like, hey, J Lo has something's going. She wants to do a double double time or something like that, and you got bumped. It could have been. You could have been. It could have been like for March. It could have been gone forever. And then I (laughs) seen people that had to do the virtual version of the Tonight Show. And it's not like I'm like. I'm not shitting on what they did. No. It's just that it's not the same. you had a different, you had to do it a different opportunity, you're a different not getting way. The same. You're not getting that same reward. It's a different thing. You're so it's like, yo, same. I'm, you I said just, that first pop. Yeah. That's what got you to cuss. Yeah. Like you legit. ain't getting that pop on virtual. Uh, you're not. No, no, I would have been no. real clean. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it been like a Zoom meeting of jokes. I would have been. <laughs> I would have been We would have been sending the clap emoji in the Zooms. <laughs> it's done, bro. So it's like, I guess like the perspective on it, like, man, I didn't lose anything. I got to do it. Yeah. How do you get back in the in the story again? Because like I got, you know, if I was an in like that. So I just started picking up where I left off. How do you do that when you so, left off somewhere where you weren't established as much so as like, you needed to be? The pandemic happened and everything. But because of, I, I wasn't like right before the family show, I won like two different competitions i got placed in some other shit Damn. so before all of the shit hit i got i was during the pandemic i was doing college gigs on virtual uh, like i'm doing an hour 10 minutes on the computer in my do, room i had wow. to do that not for college a bunch like, of them uh, so it's yeah. like I, hey, how hard is that shit by the way it's i'm not hard. gonna spend much time on that but it is not it's, fun it's not, if you're getting good it's not money. The classic fun but i did after doing so many you kind of learn how yeah. you can set it up to be as fun as it could be for sure. what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, all right, this is what my the actual reality is. I'm going to have fun in this reality mm-hmm. is how I was looking at it. Mm-hmm. So it's like pandemic happened. They, they And then shit started to get relaxed. So they started doing shows outside. Right. They started doing the rooftop shows. Yeah, yeah. I was doing shows in the fucking, I went to Maine, did a show in the damn forest or some shit. <laughs> so it was just like, this is weird. It's fun still. Yeah. So well, let me also, just keep going. It kind of worked to your advantage because you just had a huge, huge credit right when all this shit shut down. Yeah. So the minute they start opening up, you know, parking lot shows, they're like, let's get Andre out of here. Yeah, you know so I mean? like, it could be like that, that too, name. for yeah. real. It's like, yeah. what was the last part? Oh, yeah, maybe this guy. So, and then I go, and I still had the idea of like, I'm going to try. That is one thing I'm going to keep to myself. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to try. Like, you're not going to catch me trying to phone it in not trying i'm gonna yeah, yeah, try yeah, 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 so if i yeah. bomb it's because i tried if yeah. i did well i tried yeah, yeah, either yeah, way yeah, either i did way. try yeah yeah, yeah right. that's a good point you know what i mean so that's it's like way. that's a good perspective I, i'm i'm doing the shows or whatever and then um i think the next thing i did a a jfl audition right also right before everything shut down so i did the jfl audition i smacked on that mm-hmm. and then uh everything shut down no callback, no nothing. Mm-hmm. Then a year or two years or a year and a half year later, they was like, yeah, yeah, callbacks are happening now. So the set that I did, I'm like, I'm not going to do that no more. Mm-hmm. And it, so what I was thinking, like, all right, the people that saw me, the industry people, see me for these events and these things. So I'm like, I'm going to write a new set for each competition. So oh, seven dude. competitions, dude. seven new sets. How many? How much time sets? Ten, five minutes. Everything seven is minutes? yeah. Everything is like seven. seven eight, okay, yeah. that's so, doable if you have uh, like four or five months. Yeah, exactly. And you're working, yeah, you do an hour. Yeah. So I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna just do new shit, and then the callback for the JFI happened when things were like kind of normalish. I think yeah. like 21. Yeah, right. Yeah. Did that and shit popped. Nice. Got the call. Then I ended up in JFL. So that so like, the break happened. But it looked like your timing just was impeccable with it was the just perspective. Like, it yeah. just worked out. It was because I was just like, I'm going to do I'm gonna do my job, my part. See, that's I'm going to do thing. my part. That's the thing, man. That's the thing about opportunity, man. Like, no matter what, if it's comedy yeah. or anything else, mm-hmm. you got to be ready when it happens. When, yeah. Yeah. when mm-hmm. that opportunity presents itself, you got to be ready. It man. was at most, I was like, I could be I could be okay with whatever as long as I know I did do my part. Yeah, sure, I didn't sure. I didn't like yeah, yeah, no, fuck no. it off or whatever. Yeah, I you tried. Didn't blow it. Yeah, yeah, like you left nothing to chance. I yeah, tried. You, you left know what nothing I mean? to chance. Right. Exactly. So like how did you get the writers out. room after that? Is it all through so, JFL? No. Um I ended up getting before I got even selected as a new face, I already booked the writing gig. Oh. 
Yeah, so Perfect. like, <laughs> so it just, and that's the same thing. So like before I did JFL, the things that you usually get after JFL, I had. I did the Tonight Show before yeah. JFL. I, I got the writing job before JFL. Yeah, right. I did the... Yeah, it's funny. It was in reverse. It's yeah, so I did JFL, it. JFL, they get all that stuff after, right? I yeah. did it already. So, like, they... I guess they... Whoever's supposed to... Knew. Yeah. You know? So, I go. I did that. The JFL shit goes great. And then um, when I come back, I went right back to writing. Because mm-hmm. that I got off of... I was submitting packets like a motherfucker. I was... Oh, yeah. So, how long... Yeah, so how long were you uh, submitting packets? Like, to be... To, Cause now when you because as a comic yeah. you're not really are you living off what, like when are you living off of comedy money? Um, yeah, I when you lose say, the trucking gig and start living yeah, off of comedy, exactly money. right. <laughs> and that's the other thing. Even between the trucking gigs, before all of that, I would say year seven. Well, you worked at Lady Foot Locker, so we knew you had the I was, uniform bro, still. Bro, Lady Foot Locker, kit, uh, Foot Action, um, <laughs> Foot Action. <laughs> Uh, enterprise Pay car less. rental. Oh. I worked at uh, something called the Finesse. Bristol. The, the it's a senior center home. I was a waiter there. I, you were I a waiter had, in a senior center? Yeah. Oh, bro, I had. Ev- I was doing Task Rabbit. Uh-huh, I was uh-huh. whatever oh, you the fuck. Fu- yeah. I, whatever. Yo, I was working. Not. I'm not slacking. Yeah, like that's right. it. Like I'm just not slack. There's no part of me being like I'm gonna just be the bum comic not work. No. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have two jobs and still come out here and do four shows and what not if you be were in tired. The Fallon Green Room and you saw a task rabbit come through for some lady. You know, once a TV <laughs> mount, you're like, one sec, guys. <laughs> Give my tools, <laughs> man. Right He's tools. like, can I go up early? Because I gotta run. <laughs> Is it cool if I go up first? I gotta, I this gotta, lady is real shit. About it. <laughs> for real. That's not a joke, bro. That's legit. I still had the app it. on my phone. I love it. If you, I hope you blow up to a point where you are so Jamaican. Because this is how I'm built. Like, hey, you got to pull me away from a steady paycheck. I ain't leaving. I could be the most famous dude in the world. But if I worry that I could lose that at any minute, I'll yeah. be showing up to the corporate yeah. gig with the little coffee cup. I'm ready like, to I'm work. I'm still doing it. Hell yeah. I'm still doing it, I hope bro. you blow up and you have to go do so. Like, uh, hey, who's, <laughs> hey, who's toilet's clogged? I got a shit. I got a shit. I got a shit. Hold on, see your center. You need, uh, you need me to fill in the sex. No, no, no problem. That's me, me talking to like, Jeff Bridges. Like, yo, I'll be right back. <laughs> like a, he's got like a bar show uptown. He's like, actually, I, that actually works out for me. I got a couple. I can fix the thing up there. I got a lady right up there. Air conditioner. I did, bro, it's, I did put in air conditioners. <laughs> I never didn't have a job. Yeah. PC Andre Thompson <laughs> Richardson. I never didn't have a job. Bro. I love it's it. Great, Always. Man. You got a job for me this week? You got something? <laughs> you know, what was I thinking about? I was thinking about earlier this today. This guy's showing you up, bro. You're oh, supposed he's to be dude. the grunt of the group. <laughs> what do I got? Uh, janitor. Man, I got my list. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, janitor was good. I was thinking about um, some of my other waiting tables. So you waited tables at a yeah, uh, senior senior home. Senior home. Mm-hmm. Now, would you, had you wait, waited tables before then? No. That was the only thing. Oh, yeah. So now is this, um, it's like a cafeteria situation? No, it or? was a full on, re- like it was a place like this, but mm-hmm. like say the fifth floor is the cafe. Uh, my yeah. mother-in-law's go- it's was something looking like at a that. place like that. It's actually like a nice they restaurant. They live there, yeah. they everything yeah. there, and they just go upstairs to go to the restaurant. That's- but they treat it like a real the restaurant. restaurant. Yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah. be in the old, Black, yeah, with the, yeah, yeah. the cuff, everything, yeah, yeah. and the tile. Uh-huh. <laughs> and they do they, the whole shit. And the, like the tips uh, at that, like, are you twenty five? Oh, so no tip. Oh, it's, it's all taken it's care. All, of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything it's is all inclusive. If it's you all will. inclusive. Yeah. No tip. Gotcha, no gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You do so, no shit like so that. So it's more of a. Um, you don't have. You just have to do the job. Just do the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just kinda, do that's the job. That's kind of nice, dude. As like a like, I waited tables for a long time, like. Dude, depending on that tip, like sometimes when you when somebody's asking you for like the fifteenth thing, you're like, man, I know this yeah. motherfucker is it's not, not gonna. gonna yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. I'm like, I, I just they make you work way too hard. Demanding. Yeah. As soon as mm-hmm. you, as soon as it starts happening like that, you're just like, man, I'm not gonna get a fucking tip from this yeah. guy. Yeah. I'm not getting a more ranch. I'm just not. I'm gonna. I'm Fuck gonna you drop and your the dry ranch. Chicken. I'm gonna put my foot down now. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna put the check and and also there's your ranch. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a, it's done. It's the equivalent of putting the chairs up when someone's staying too long at the restaurant. <laughs> that shit is funny when they start shutting down. You sitting right they there. Give, they oh. vacuum. <laughs> Move your feet and shit. <laughs> well, my fault. I got a. <laughs> Oh, I'm not oh, leaving. Oh, no. <laughs> Until this chicken cutlet's finished, I will not be leaving.
between the premises, yeah. all right? And you know what's bullshit now about the you guys weren't waiting tables then like you are, you know, you now I mean you were waiting tables then. Now what I'm not liking is everything has to be a tip thing. Uh, I, some of this shit's your job. Oh. Some yeah, of yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, job, yeah, yeah. not me the taking shop, care. The, Come when on. I go to the coffee shop, I just get a croissant and then they flip it around. A little jar? And, well, well now, now they flip it around. Oh, the the pandemic the made yeah. people brazen with that tip shit. I'm yeah. like, dude, I'm not tipping you. You grab the croissant, put it in a bag. This is a $4 Done. croissant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seriously, not, that's part of the gig. Yeah, what did yeah, you do? Did yeah. you fold the bag like in a origami? No, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Uh, I've never waited tables. I bar back once. At the comedy store Fucking in La Jolla, I did the that thing, worst uh, job. Task Rabbit. <laughs> I got yeah, hired got as a bar back. back. <laughs> Boy, I was fucking that up because I don't know nothing it's about so liquor. Hard, dude. Everybody it's was so drunk. I was just pouring hard. shit loose. Oh, they, they <laughs> Why they let you mix the Give drink? Give me a in Manhattan. I don't know what the fuck that is. Shaking a martini. <laughs> I'm just pouring whatever. Shut up, nigga. You're drunk. <laughs> I'm pouring Who let anything. The bar back pour my drink. <laughs> I'm pouring whatever the fuck, bro. I ain't know what I was doing. Everybody gets an umbrella. Everybody gets an umbrella. <laughs> no matter what you order. There's a new sheriff in town. It was bad, bro. I I did, I did security. I worked at Century 21. I had oh. every gig. Wait, wait, wait. So Century 21 is like a that's a uh, like a store, like a Walmart kind of thing. Yeah, right? but it's supposed to be like um like I guess like what's that shit Clothing? called? Yes, it's a like a Burlington Co Factory type. Uh, of stuff. Oh yeah, right, Century okay, 21 okay. is a giant yeah, like, discount, like a little luxury nicer. good place. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay. But it's massive. So now your security there. So security are you checking shit. receipts as people walk no, out? No, they have that. Bro, that they call it the loss prevention team. They're they not call fucking shr- around. They call it shrinkage. Yeah, anytime oh, a shrinkage comes into play, the yeah. Century Twenty One I was at had their own jail place under the. Yeah, they're century. expecting the security to fight. Like, there's yeah. a there's a That's watch like a room. Everybody's in suit. It's oh. not, they, when I say they not fucking around. Damn. The same way I was talking about the trucker shit had a bunch of felons. Yeah. The um the Century Twenty One spot had a bunch of people FBI that was like I was, I just got retired or I'm yeah. going for my. Oh. Everybody ex-cops was like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh either ex or I'm that's the goal mm-hmm. everybody was no law enforcement is what the fuck we do yeah yeah, yeah and yeah, I'm yeah. here like I just need a gig so I could go to the mics yeah. <laughs> I'm not but they hired yeah. you cause like he can probably handle himself they just think oh, yeah, you yeah. big put on a suit and yeah. cover you, a door yeah that's yeah. all you gotta do that's we it. just need you to cover the door they got the radio you take anyone talk. out oh you had the radio here they, they had the oh, fucking lapel dude, that's legit dude with, with coats with luxury goods they're selling it's not like Burlington where it's all like shitty nah, off bro. Oh, you, okay. if you it's steal luxury goods in that spot you steal three pairs of socks you already walked out with $200 worth of material yeah. like oh, it was it's, like it's that luxury oh. gigs every yeah. sock is goods, Ralph right. Lauren Prada whatever so the fuck so now are you getting paid well at this gig or? Yeah, yeah 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 if you good at it yeah. if you good at it yeah, yeah, <laughs> you get yeah. paid well I got yeah. fired expeditiously why'd they fire you why'd they fire you cause I wasn't good well how do you not be good in that job. Somebody was stealing and I didn't. <laughs> and you're like, were you eating some shit? Like, oh no, cause bro, it's they a had fail situation. They had, they have. It's not like some shit because, because that fucking radio. No. You don't you don't just yell out um you know plain shit like yo white male taking whatever yeah, yeah. they have codes like a diner uh, yeah they have let me codes. get a let me get a moo one chocolate so moo the black like, a black man black woman white man age everything is eighty three a eighty three b seven three six seventy three it's that shit so you see the person you got to understand Hispanic male is sixty three. F? How have racists not picked up on this so they could say racist shit in public? Bro, all Man, of this shit. this 83K <laughs> came up to me the other day. She drove like shit. <laughs> I got an 83A with a toaster going on for five blocks. <laughs> it was that shit, bro. Those, those cops in the break room are using oh, it. Oh, yeah. using that shit like a motherfucker. These goddamn 73ers. <laughs> Yeah. So what happened? Sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's that shit, bro. I'm at the door. So you blew the I'm radio on my pole? post, and it, I, I turned it into a joke because it did happen. But this this Asian dude came in, and he, like, when I say he came, sprinted straight to the polo section, had a bag. Oh, he came. Yeah, just yeah, came yeah. in, bang. Be- fucking socks, socks, socks. So I told you, you take a couple so socks. So he sprinted in? St- like, when I say ran inside like straight oh, to yeah, the he polo ca- he, he knew what the fuck he was yeah, doing he cased it. Oh, 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 yeah, straight okay. to the polo and i mean seconds frim already hundreds of dollars worth of shit is in the bag and then he starts running out uh-huh. and i'm uh, this is my first week on the job oh, i did so the like, little training I- shit and then i'm at, i'm on a live post Dude, and here this motherfucker go <laughs> 
<laughs> being quick as shit. So I'm on the radio. I'm panicking. I'm like, yo, oh, fuck. Yo. Yo. There's an Asian dude. <laughs> I didn't remember the code shit. So I'm just like, uh, 80. Quarterback 70, wristbands. I got a 83. I need a the ball. Omaha, right here. Omaha. Omaha. Oh, fucking A, bro. Hey, I work at Victoria's Secrets. Four Mexican dudes ran in like that. Grabbed a table of panties, one of those, you know how they stack them up? Yeah. Oh, and they a. booked that shit, bro. They figured out how to like put the tablecloth around. And just, they, oh. they had done it a lot. Before, That's yeah. their job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This dude didn't look like he didn't. He when I say, I mean quick, <laughs> entered and sh no no looking around, trying yeah. to be chill. Nah, <laughs> Phew, bang, and then starts booking it, and I'm like, fuck, oh, yo, uh, hey, Asian niggas throw some socks. <laughs> And that's it. I got fired. <laughs> they was like, you can't yeah, just yell out Asian niggas stole socks in the Andre. goddamn store. Plug where you're at. <laughs> plug your shit. Go. Just plug. Yo, just look up Andre D. Thompson. That's everything. I got all my shows and everything that's coming. It's easy to find from there. Are you performing a lot more now since the strike? Because yeah, you got to. A lot more stand up. And um, this is like the shit that. With the free time, I'm using it to like plan for. Nice. When you know what I mean? Back, so, right? like, write shit and do shit and yeah. get things more ready. And, you know, Love I'm it. trying to be professional. Love it. Trying. Eddie, go. Oh, you can find me at Ed McGowan Comedy on oh, all yeah. the socials. Make sure you uh, email us. Uh, yeah, what's email again to, about your job? Working stories? class comedians. Working class comedians at gmail. At gmail. Dot com. Yeah, you got problems at work? Send them in. We'll just talk about them. We're not going <laughs> to fix them. them in. <laughs> uh, JoshRicardo.com, at Josh Ricardo. Go ahead and let us out. We'll see you guys again next week. Oh, one last thing, guys. Yo, uh, big announcement. We've joined a brand new podcast network called Connected Podcasts. And I know you thought the working class holes were just about being disgruntled. We're not. We have a mission, making you laugh. Their mission, helping us drive this network to the top and be number one. Dude, we're, I know. We're so psyched. And you got to be sure to check out some of the other great shows because they have some truly great ones. And when I say truly, one of them's called Truly Darkly Creepily and the other one's called One Broke Actress. Just some of my favorites. Check it out. We'll see you guys again soon.